Good morning, it is Phoenix Amori. So let's dive into some of the dynamics that are now having to be cleaned up all the way stemming from the eighth grade. If you recall, there became this whole girl versus boy thing, black versus white thing. It, it got so silly at the middle school, which was a, even a smaller school than where he is now, that I said I can foresee how this stuff is going to carry over into ninth grade to where it's going to have to be faced and handled. So understand me looking at some of the drama for, no, 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 this is that year that I'm like, no, nah, uh-uh, some stuff getting trumped. So we already had the issue with the hair color. We're past that now. I need to make that abundantly clear. That's also for other girls to understand. Don't do drama like that because the one thing that I can tell you is sometimes when you do that sort of thing um, and then it later comes out like okay so she's still doing this or she's still you are now the harasser right let's just be honest it doesn't matter about sex or you know as far as girl or boy or female or male it does not matter you can be a harassing person at any gender that's something that you need to understand at this age it's a good lesson to learn period right that's for any kid so now that's a dynamic that they know what's going on. Here's the thing that has um, started to come into play. Now I don't know if people are noticing. You're going to have that whole thing when I write something about um, sometimes the girls do get in trouble. You're going to have girls that react to, well, let's find something on him. Don't do that. What, what am I doing? You notice me balancing out every different facet here. Now, I will tell you, X does not just bash the teachers. I stress this to you over and over again. When we communicate, it's not a badge session because sometimes I'll say, you know, is it you or is it teacher? You know, or maybe it's both of you. That's how I talk to him, truthfully, um, in regards to some of this. But here's what's come out. And I need to stress this to teachers. And I'm going to give a scenario that I'm speaking of. Working in IT, right? Um, when I worked on base as a contractor, they actually put a stipulation in that some of the contractors, even if they had degrees, they had to get certain certifications to be able to handle certain aspects on the network and on the system. Do you know some people could not pass that test? Okay, so if they couldn't pass the test, what kind of assumptions do you think people started making about them? Well, they dumb. They can't pass this test. No, it didn't make them dumb. It made them bad test takers. Do you understand where I'm going with this? When you now put more emphasis on passing a test, you also put emphasis on that test, supposedly letting a teacher know how far a student is, a benchmark test. No, you can't benchmark based on tests because some people just don't test very well. That's the reality. So where am I taking this? To what X said about the English teacher. She talks to me like I'm a baby. I told her she can just talk to me regular and just explain it and I'll get it. He's telling you the truth. So I hope you have not been benchmarking based on a test performance from last year. See how we're getting back on track? And you know what's so beautiful about it? The fact that people made assumptions about me because, like I said, Ms. Googling assistant principal, um, who later on, if you guys remember, it's like I pick up on stuff that's kind of a theme in regards to some of these people. Like that same principal that Google me for no reason. It was one guy that called her Corella DeVille and I didn't get what he was saying until when we were talking that day in the office and I went, okay. So sometimes it's not even me. Sometimes it's me picking up on stuff and I go, why? She trying to hit like she, I don't care if you're Googling. So at the end of the day, guess what? She probably found rap songs or whatever. She found thinking, oh, I think his mom gangster. She's trying to be a rapper. I bet you she's this and that. Or she has five sons and blah, blah, blah. Ah, guess what? I went to ridicule just like X. But at the end of the day, 39 being educated enough to break it down and articulate to you guys, stop stereotyping. We went through all that. We went through the, oh, he may be smoking weed, or we went through the, oh, is he in a gang? And, oh, we went through all the labels you could possibly throw at a person, including um, labels thrown at me. So are we beyond that? Yes, we are. Because now I'm trying to tell you what it is that needs to happen. Start listening to him when he says stuff to you. He can articulate how he's feeling. You see, I don't make excuses for behavior issues. Understand that very, very clearly. So if he's doing something wrong, I do make him own his stuff, but I have to get people first that are working with him to a place of knowing he does grasp concepts, okay? Don't look at the test score and assume anything about any student. You guys have a great day.